Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So this is lesson number six and we are going to learn how we can manage Prometheus service using systemd process in Linux. Uh, so far we have learned how to start stop uh, Prometheus services by just using Prometheus utility. For example, right now you can see Prometheus is down. If I refresh this page, uh, services are not running. That's the reason we don't see any web page. Now, if I go back to this server where we have Prometheus uh, available and if I do pwd, this is the current working directory I am in. So I need to move on to Prometheus directory and then if I do ls-lrt, here you can see we have Prometheus utility. So essentially when we had to start Prometheus, what we were doing is we were running this command and which was helping us to start Prometheus. Now this is not really a great way to manage uh, services on a Linux uh, system. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to create a systemd. Uh, we need to create a systemd uh, service, and then we are going to manage this process uh, through that. So the advantage of that is that let's say your server goes down, and if when you start your server, in that case your service is going to come up automatically. So you have more control, and also you can see the status of the service. You can see whether it is running, you can start it using systemd process. So that's the reason we are going to learn how to move on to starting the service as a systemd process. So now I'm just going to, uh, I'm not going to run it, I'm just going to press Control c to cancel it. And then we are going to learn what are the steps which are required to run any utility as a service on Linux. Okay, so let's move on to uh, this documentation which I have available here. So there are uh, two steps which we, are, which, which we need to do. One is we need to create a file and we need to create this file under slash etc systemd system directory. Okay, so the file name which we are creating we are calling it prometheus.service and uh, this file we need to create as a root user. So that's the reason if you see I have prefixed sudo in the beginning of this uh, command. So I'm just going to copy it and let's run it here. And now you can see we have a file opened in VI editor where we need to write all the uh, description or configuration to start a service. Now, next thing which we need to do is we have we need to paste all of this in the uh, file which we have just opened. Uh, but before I go on and paste it, let me just quickly give you an overview of what this all about. So. Uh, majorly if you look at this file closely you will notice that there are three sections which are available here so first section is unit uh, where we specify uh, about what is the kind of uh, service which, which is running and where the documentation is available so it is more like an introduction or uh, overview of the service and then we have another section which is called service section so there we are speci uh, specifying how we want this service to be running, with which user we want the service to be running and so on. Okay, so here we are specifying user uh, that this service should be running as root user and what should happen if this service uh, fails. So in that case we want this service to be restarted. So that's why we are saying restart on failure. And then in execution start we are specifying where our Prometheus file is. Okay, so here now if you see I have given complete path of where our Prometheus utility is available. So I have given slash home slash Prometheus slash Prometheus dot whatever the full path was. And then we are specifying our configuration file is available at this location. So if you notice here in this, uh, in this command line we have not given the full path because we were always moving to the directory from where uh, where this Prometheus utility was available. So that's why we were just specifying dot slash and Prometheus. Now here we need to specify the complete uh, path. So just make a note of the, this. And now the next section which is uh, available is called install section where we are saying that this is a soft dependency uh, to start this service. So that's all we need. We are just going to copy it and we are going to paste it in the file which we have just created. and. This is a VI editor which I'm using. If you're using any other editor, just follow the steps which is required to uh, copy paste this file. Now I have saved the file and exited from here. So if you just want to see again what is the content in this file, so we can just do cat and we can see this file. And this is what we see available here. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is we need to reload this uh, daemon configuration. So I'm going to run this command. I'm just gonna go there and going to paste this command here. And now we are good to manage our uh, Prometheus service using system uh, systemd command. So I'm just going to write, uh, let's clear the screen once. And then I'm going to write systemctl. And 
and let's prefix it with sudo and we are going to write status prometheus and right now you can see it is saying that prometheus is not running it is inactive and it is dead and also if i just go back uh, to this prometheus web page if i try to refresh it you can see that it is not running that's the reason we see a failure uh, prometheus page now i'm going to start the service in order to start the service a step is very easy you just have to replace status with start so i'm just gonna change it to start and hit enter and now prometheus service is started so if we want to verify the status we can run the status command again hit enter and this time you can see it is showing uh, the status is in active state and now we can go to prometheus we can just refresh this web page and hopefully it is gonna work so as you can see it is working now and if you want to stop the service you just have to run stop command so i'm just gonna go again going to change the status to stop hit enter and now let's check the status again here and now you can see it is showing as inactive again just gonna go back to uh, prometheus web page going to refresh it and this time it is not going to load so you saw how easy it is so you can do the similar thing for alert manager or node exporter as well so that's all in this lesson see you again in the next lesson